What's happening guys? We're back. We're working on the engine today. All right, we are working on the engine today. Uh, we got it out of the car last week. So now we start the task of putting it all back together again uh, correctly on the stand here. Uh, so running the right seals, getting all the hardware, all the torque specs, all everything all put together correctly. And we'll put it all together dry on the, on the stand. And then we'll pop off as few bolts as possible, install it in the car, and then bolt it back up. Whole concept here is, you know, make sure that we have all the hardware that we need, make sure that we have all the seals that we need, make sure we know where they all go. Um, I, I'm a little bit worried about the turbo uh, piping on this side of the motor. Uh, we haven't hooked any of that up in a while, so I gotta find, there's some banjo bolts and stuff like that that I gotta find, uh, and there's a whole bunch of seals that go with it that I have no idea what they correspond to. So. We got a little bit of work to do on that. Uh, it shouldn't take us all day. It should be a fairly quick episode. So uh, let's just crack into it. All right, we got the manifold on. Uh, it didn't actually take very long at all, which is nice. We did have to scrape a whole bunch of old crusty exhaust gasket off of the head and the manifold, uh, but we got that scraped off and cleaned up. 
And then we got a new seal in there. We got it bolted on. We put all of the nuts on this time, uh, just to make sure that we have them mainly. Uh, we didn't tighten them down because I'm not sure how many times you're supposed to squish that exhaust gasket. But those are on. We did learn that we need to have the turbo inlet elbow. There's a little aluminum elbow on there. We have to have that off when we put the manifold on so we can access the two nuts in the back in between cylinders two and three. So we learned that. Uh, we put on all of our, our uh, oil and coolant feed and drain lines. Uh, cleaned up the banjo bolts, had to dig through a bag to find those. Clean those up, put those on, new seals. We had the new, uh, the new copper crush washers, put those on. Uh, we put on the exhaust pipe and uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's basically the whole turbo manifold. So a couple things we learned. Uh, one is the, the elbow thing. The other is on the oil return line. There's a short section of rubber hose and it's held on with these kind of goofy, I don't know, stock style double wire clamps. And then they normally have a bolt in there. Uh, these are 30 years old and they're all seized and they are garbage. So I need to buy a new set of these. Uh, I also learned, well, I think we knew this, uh, this was our, our bolt for our exhaust pipe onto the turbo housing. Uh, we were using the stock bolts, just a stack of washers on them. Uh, that's not really a permanent solution. So we need to do something about the, the, the five bolts that hold that, uh, that, that down pipe on. I think what I'm going to do is look for a stud kit. I'd rather run studs than bolts because that pipe has such a tight radius, you're gonna have a tough time getting your fingers in there and doing up a bolt, if you can even get the bolt in, uh, versus putting a nut on. So we're gonna look into a stud kit for that and, uh, and get rid of our bolts. Um, the other thing, uh, we forgot to weld in the O2 bung into our downpipe. So I need to buy an O2 sensor and then uh, I need to, to do a little bit of looking as to where the O2 bung is gonna live and then drill a hole in that pipe and weld that in. So we got a little to-do list from today. Uh, that to-do list is gonna grow as we put the intake manifold on and, and whatnot, but uh, we got a good start. So short little episode this week, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button. Go check us out on Instagram, Left Foot First Media, and we'll see you next week. I'm out of here.